So for an actor, having a, and exploring a backstory um, is part of your arsenal, your tools. Yeah. So in this film, was it a great opportunity to go and, and explore a backstory? Where you normally get a chance to. Um, I think it was more just to explore a woman who was very damaged, was at a stage in her life where there was no going back, though she'd made some, sabotaged herself, made decisions that had really been the wrong decisions. Um, and is filled with this inner rage and resentment and anger, but at the same time wants to go and heal what she can and be held accountable for what she can and take responsibility for, for those things. Um, she has a daughter who's very angry at her um, and resentful for good reason, and but she's also trying to show her daughter that she doesn't have to have or follow the same path that she's that she's followed, that she's, um, and that I think is a big thing. I think there's a lot of parents out there that would go, I want my child to have a better life than me, you know? I believe you chose to, to shoot everything on location. Can you give us the benefits of, do, of doing that for us? You know, the, the film always took place in L.A. and was, large, was uh, other than the desert component of the film, it was an L.A.-based movie entirely. And we just knew that even though it would be more challenging to make a movie that um, had to be shot all on location, it also brought a, a level of authenticity and a kind of interesting aliveness to um, every scene, I hope. So um, it, it, it wasn't always easy, but it was really worth it to do it. Well, welcome to the, the, the London Film Festival. You must be very excited to, to be here this evening. Uh, yeah, we were just discussing how much we, how special this festival is to all of us. And um, it's, just, it's just a remarkable place, remarkable audiences. And um, yeah, we're thrilled, thrilled to be here. You've got a title like Destroyer. I imagine you can't kind of get bought straight into the, the, the story just by the title. Sorry, say that one more time. Um, with a title like Destroyer, it's, it's such a captivating title. You must have been... Head feet into the I, I couldn't agree more. I mean, Phil and Matt wrote the script with Karn. Uh, they have a kind of creative unity that uh, that developed that script. And I just, it landed on my desk. And with the title like Destroyer, you don't even, and I had no feedback as to what it was or any context. And from page one, I was like, oh my God, like this is, when is this going to take a bad turn and disappoint? And then I was just wrapped till the very end. And I was destroyed emotionally and physically. And I was like, oh my God, if I don't get involved with this movie, I will just like blow my mind. So it was, it was and every day of shooting was a joy. And uh, we're just so proud to see it here on, on the big screen. And the, the sort of backstory for an actor is kind of part of their arsenal. And this story, this story really, the, the backstory is the story of the story, yeah. isn't it? No, right, and I think it was always about how trying to reveal, um, revealing how she got where she was today and revealing how this character, um, the mystery of her and preserving the mystery of her and that was kind of throughout the process what we always were talking about is investing in the power and mystery of this woman and, and that to us is the reason for being of the film is this, this character. Um, Nicole's beautiful performance and, and the way Karen evoked it. Like, so um, to us, it is that, that central mystery of who she is and why she is who she is, is, is what drives the whole thing for us. And, and, and just finally, uh, having um, Nicole as your leading lady, I mean, that for, as a producer, that's a dream come true, is it not? It actually is a dream. You know, you have your little bucket list of if I if I get to you know work with these five actors before I die, I'll be very very lucky. And Nicole was one of these unattainable dreams that she's just an icon and a legend. But I think what made her so appropriate for this film is she's hit a peak of her career where she's making incredibly bold choices and executing them with perfection and people are really appreciating and acknowledging that and so she doesn't need to take risks and yet her confidence is going to a place where I'm going to because that's I'm an artist and every day on set she brought a kind of youthful joy to her process it was like a young actor who loves the work and loves to play with other actors and to have that every day and to see the older Aaron Bell and the younger Aaron Bell transform every day was an absolute gift and it's kind of like yeah. we don't even have to show the movie to people I've like we've already lived a dream in our yeah. in making it you and know? there is absolutely nothing jaded about Nicole Kidman that's the thing that we learned I mean it's all uh, her heart is out of her sleeve at all times when she's working and it's it's really beautiful it doesn't, it doesn't disappoint yeah, yeah. <laughs>